YouTube, what's going on, baby? Hey, check it out, gang. In today's video, man, we got the best build on the brand new intervention that you guys will probably find on YouTube. There's a ton of talk all over Twitter, YouTube community tabs, whatever, about the fact that the one-shot snipers don't really feel all that rewarding. And I actually got a ton of comments on my last video. By the way, y'all are absolute ghosts. Thank you guys so much for all the support on that video. But I got a ton of comments talking about how it does not one-shot. Guys, just so you know, when you equip the explosive round, your bullet velocity velocity and accuracy decreases probably around 40 percent it's like shooting an rpg round out of your sniper so unless you're within that 40 to 50 meter range it's not going to shoot where you're aiming it's going to drop and we're going to make sure we counteract that and i'm going to give you guys the best build that you guys will be able to use at any distance but hey real quick if you guys ever want a chance to be featured in my videos i am live over on kick every single morning at 9 30 a.m est and while i'm live i'm recording content with you guys so come on by man the link's down below in the description it's also at the bottom of the screen hope to see you guys there and let's get straight into it it's just my shot that's bad. oh there we go yo so ready i don't know if you like inf uh iw dude that should not have been a hit marker man where are you oh let's go bro let's go turn me up turn me up turn me up turn me up Let's go. Dude, I just barely saw that, man. Pretty nice thing. Thank you. I mean, I'm down, man. I'm down, but I know if we... Yo, we found the build. We found the build. We found the build. 100% found the build. This is it. What am I supposed to do with this? I guess I could buy another Lodi. That really was not a headshot. Yeah, I can see that though, Buddha. How you been though, bro? Are you, are you getting on extra fine or what? Bitch, get the. Bums, Watch out, there's a Betty. Don't go that way. You went that way. Oh, they're all down here. Oh, down up, up from behind, from behind, from behind, from that little, uh, the little divot. Watch out behind you, Fruity. How are you a person? Finally, bro. What is that? And that right there, guys, is how the team gets white. Oh my god! Dude, there's two whole teams above you guys. Yeah, let's see better figure it out, man. Dude. Dude, I still only have three kills. He's in there. Oh, there we go. Finally. Finally. Head to the safe zone now. Down one. Dipping. 
I pushed down, I pushed down, I pushed down. There's three, there's three, there's three. Whole team, whole team, whole team. Enemy dropping into the AO. No more second chances. Reinforcements inbound. Yo, this this battle rifle right here, chat, this is it. Let's go! Finally, baby! Finally! Alright, here's my FJX Imperium. By the way, if you guys ever want to know how I do this camo, just make sure you guys ask down below. I try to be as clear and precise as possible when I answer the question. It's actually super easy. There's no mods, cheats, hacks, unlock tools, and all that crap. But alright, let's get into it. Alright, let's get it for the barrel. We got the C Rose 22. Moving on to the optic, we got my personal favorite, the SBX 80. The reason I don't run the default optic is because it just zooms in too much for me. Although I might give it a shot for another video because I would love to add a laser to this build. But as of right now, man, I just I just not for me for the stock we got the fjx lux 7 moving on down to the rear grip we got the skull 40 and of course for the ammunition type we got them explosive rounds all right moving straight into the tuning for the barrel we got aim walking speed at a negative 0.34 followed by a huge buff on the aim down sight speed at negative 0.32 for the spx 80 optic we have aim down sight speed at a negative 2.60 and we did not touch the eye position for the fj lux 7 we have sprint to fire speed jacked all the way up with a negative 3.23 followed by maxing out the aim Aim down sight speed for the skull 40 we have aim down sight speed at a negative 0.58 followed by sprint to fire speed at a negative 0.33 and lastly for the explosive rounds we have damage range just with a little increase at positive 0.02 followed by a huge buff on the bullet velocity at positive 6.68 all right and real quick guys i just wanted to include this i know a lot of you guys were asking for the mp5 in the last video but dude this bell 46 smg the mp7 this thing hits for the broom pendulum we have recoil stabilization at a positive point 67 followed by gun kit control at a positive 0 0.30 for the tango 228 barrel we have recoil steadiness at a positive 0 0.21 followed by damage range at a positive 0.23 for the cronin mini dot optic we have aim down sight speed at a negative 1.35 and we're not going to touch the eye position again for the zlr combat grip we have recoil steadiness at a positive 0.52 followed by a nice increase on the sprint to fire speed with a negative 0.26 and that's really it for this mp7 guys honestly this thing absolutely hits gives me complete mw19 vibes and with that, gang, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to go down below, drop a big booty like. It means the world to me. Guys, we are getting so close to 15,000 subscribers, and that's thanks to y'all. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, because we upload every other day. But all right, more importantly, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Later, guys.